Hey everybody, this is Gregory from DAP University. So today I have another guest on the channel. I've got Javier here from Superblocks to show us a product that they've put out, which is their online IDE for building DAPs. So welcome, Javier. Thank you so much for having me. You're great, Sam. Yeah, so tell me, what do you do at Superblocks? Yeah, so Superblocks, we have our vision of being able to empower all the visionaries of the decentralized future, and uh, we do so by creating development tools to be able to allow more people to not only enter the space and learn about blockchain and, and decentralization, but also uh, empower more advanced users with uh, other tools that we're actually working on for be able to make sure that everyone can work and you know create the best apps possible. So. And um, yeah, so, and we, our first product that I mentioned to you is uh, Superblocks Lab, as you already introduced, which is an online ID to be able to get as easy as possible into the space and remove a lot of the complexity that already, you know, uh, exists to be able to actually start, you know, doing your first steps and, uh, and get into the space. Awesome. Very cool. So we've, we've got this tool pulled up here. Um, I'm going to put a link to this down in the video description below so that you all can kind of pull this up and follow along with us and kind of take this tour as you're watching the video. Um, so yeah, Javier, you want to kind of just show us around, give us a tour of the tool and how it works? Sure. So yeah, if you hit to lab.superblocks.com, you'll be able to actually come into the, the tool. And you won't see it not right now because I have a few projects already created, but you will see a little screen saying, okay, so to get started, just create a new project. And uh, actually, the, the, this window will pop up. So okay. one of the things that uh, we wanted to do, as I say, to be able for anyone to get a really easy start is to build a few templates. Right now, we only have four, like an empty project, a Hello World, a uh, Newsfeed, and a Race to Summon to be able to you know, make, you know, like take money for be able to you know, do something for like, you know, take someone for an event or something like that. But anyway, we are actually actively working to create a, a whole bunch of new templates. And we are also working with a few other companies who want to show their technology to be able to get, you know, as easy as, you know, as possible started with, you know, with all these uh, dubs. So Very in this case, for example, if we take, I don't know, let's take the Ancestral News. So, you know, uh, like a small news feed where we can actually publish news into it. So once you actually select the, the template that um, uh, you will just need to give it a, a project name. So in this case, we'll be called uh, news feed. And then uh, a small uh, dub HTML title. So because I'll walk you through why we have that HTML thing and uh, in a moment. So when you hit create project, so automatically the tool will create this project for you, we'll set up with the already done smart contract. So uh, you can actually uh, get started straight away. And one of the cool things that we actually did for this is, as you can see, there hasn't been any setup and there is no ganache working or there is no like, okay, how the hell does actually this work? You know? <laughs> and that's a good question. And so the thing is that we actually have an EVM actually running in the browser, a oh, specific wow. in the browser for you to be able to get uh, started straight away and to be able to develop and have quick iterations for your uh, development process. So uh, as does you can see- come, Does that come with accounts and things like that already loaded? Uh, yeah, exactly, precisely. So we have uh, already created development accounts for you to get started in the development environment. And then I'll show you in a minute as well, we have integrated with MetaMask. So whenever you're actually doing uh, interactions with the public nets, uh, make sure that you're using your MetaMask account to be able to do so. And it, you will say it will show up, you know, a little warning and then it will pop up MetaMask to be able to sign your transactions straight away with your MetaMask account. So we don't have, we don't save any private keys or anything and everything is purely local in your browser. Wow. So, um, yeah, and as you can see, we create a default account where it's pre-configured everything for you so you don't have to actually do anything at all. And um, so, yeah, if we go here, at the moment, we also have uh, something that is pretty nice. Is, uh, we use uh, Monaco, the editor, that is the same as VS Code. So it's right. actually integrated into the tool. And uh, so uh, a lot of the nice things of uh, Monaco editor that is, you know, the cool things with VS Code uh, actually are supported here as well. So um, if we get started with the news feed, uh, for example, uh, smart contract, um, I think it's you know easier if uh, uh, everyone actually takes a quick look at later in the in the smart contract itself. What it does is a fairly simple smart contract. But the cool thing is that uh, as soon as you want to get started, as I say, there is an EVM and a small blockchain node actually running in too. So as soon as you want to, for example, compile your project, you just hit the compile button, and then you know it's really quick. It's really you know it's really snappy because everything is running locally. And then it's like, okay, now I want to deploy this to actually a blockchain. And it's like, okay, so you just hit the deploy button and it will actually deploy. 
And one of the cool things, is cool features that actually there is as well, there's this transaction history. So you can actually, for every transaction that you're doing with the chain, you can actually see it, you know, uh, the chain of events in this transaction history, and you can actually see certain useful information like who created it, which one is the contract address, how old is the smart contract, uh, who actually did it, which block, especially useful for development, how much gas is being used. Uh, that's really good for when you want to do a really quick checkout. For it. Like, okay, if I write a certain function in a certain way, or if I use an array or create an array versus, you know, all these different things that uh, you, is so important when you develop smart contracts to really optimize, uh, you can actually see how much, you know, gas has been used with your, with your transactions. And this one of this, as you can see, is the deploy transaction. So we are not executing like any of the functions at the moment, but you can actually check how much you know, gas has been used. And there is some more information here. So regarding the construction arguments, how the gas limits, et cetera, et cetera. Very cool. Uh, yeah. And uh, so now that you're, you know, actually your, um, uh, actually let me open this, that your uh, smart contracts being deployed already to the in-browser blockchain. So you can see here, you have a small, like, you know, indicator telling you how much ether you have. Mm -hmm. So we built all the development accounts with uh, 100 ether. So for, you know, make sure that you have more, way more than enough to be able to work locally. But now that your contract is in the blockchain, it's okay, uh, how do I interact with it? So you can just click the interact button. And then this will automatically load, and depending on your smart contracts, will load all the different functions and all the different, uh, both, you know, uh, view functions and transactions to be able to actually interact with your smart contracts in a really easy way. Nice. So, yeah, and uh, so you have your, for example, you want to check your number of articles. And one thing that is important as well, you can read the legends of colors. So, you know, depending if it's a constant because it doesn't cost any, it doesn't generate transaction. If it's a transaction, it's in yellow. If it's a payable function, it will show in red. And um, any questions so far, by the way? No, that looks great. Okay, cool. So. In this case, uh, we want to see, okay, for example, so uh, how many number of articles so we have? Okay, so we have zero articles. And one of the things I want to show you first is actually going into interact with the smart contract in itself is there is actually uh, something that not only you can actually take care of your smart contracts, but something that we think is really important for be able to really learn straight away is the non-blockchain part, which is actually the web part as well, for example, in this case. Sure. So we have already pre-done a uh, sort of like similar as a field view mm -hmm. where uh, you can actually code your HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Uh, mm -hmm. It's not for creating these super complex systems. It's more for be able to, you know, create smaller tabs and be able to learn about the space and, you know, it's created small examples. But uh, it could definitely, I mean, we actually been using this with, uh, with in production for uh, some of the, the clients as well. So we actually actively use our own tool as well. And the cool thing is that this actually, the front end part of your DAP, it's a pre-configured with your current setup and configuration that you have in this, what I mentioned, which network you have and which account you actually have selected. And we automatically on the fly uh, configure your JavaScript to be able to make sure that you don't have to actually do anything. So this is specific wow. template, it has already like all the JavaScript set up for you. And uh, this part here is how your actually web is going to be rendering your tab specifically. So, so does, it, uh, does it pull in Web3 for you already? Does it use yeah, it? Precisely. So exactly. So it's pretty integrated with Web3. And then as you can see here, you can read the JavaScript and then you can uh, actually, you know, you will see that we index templates, you know, uh, we actually use uh, Web3 and then there's a really easy way for you to actually you know, uh, interact with, with the smart contracts and everything. Wow. And, yeah, and one of the cool things that I told you that this is actually a, a Monaco editor. So here, you know, you can actually change this to black and then you can just reload and you will see that your DAP changes instantly. So your front end part of the DAP. So uh, you wow. get really quick instant feedback. And that little corner here that it says your censorship resistant history, this is actually communicating with your local blockchain. So uh, this is actually currently running with our in browser blockchain. So I will put example of how we could actually uh, interact with this. So if we go to your, you know, interact screen that I mentioned before and you say, okay, I want to create a new article. I want to publish a new article. I have some Spanish ones here, but if we say for the English audience, like, okay, hello world. And, uh, and then we just put a hash here. That's a dummy value. And one of the things that I told you about is that you can see instantly if your transaction actually succeeded. In this case, you can see that it's tick as a green button. So yes. you would all actually wait, that's actually been succeeded. And then if you return to your, to your um, 
uh, DAP in itself. Now you can see that it says hello world. So this is actually communicating with the blockchain. And as I say, the contract is, the, this specific template is already set up. So it's pulling this information from the, from the local blockchain that we have set up. And um, so now the question that, especially in hackathons, we were in ETH Berlin uh, recently, and um, one of the questions that we got asked is like, okay, so how the hell do I move from in browser or like actually my local development, you know, uh, setup, you know, or smart contracts to actually test it? And uh, one of the things that uh, that's actually extremely easy to do in Superbox is actually precisely to do that. So the only thing you have to do is just go to your select to you know, your networks that you have here. For example, and we can choose Rinkeby. So when you choose Rinkeby, the first thing you will notice is that there is actually a little fox that, as we said, we pre-integrated with, uh, with uh, MetaMask. Mm -hmm. And it has like a little band-aid that maybe it's not really clear to see, but that means that it's actually locked. So it shows that actually your, my MetaMask is actually being locked. So if I go to my MetaMask and I log in, then you will see that it changes to, you know, it removes the bandit. It's like, okay, so now my MetaMask is actually being, you know, uh, unlocked. And it's like, okay, so now I want to deploy this to my, to a test network, for example. So the only thing, as I say, you just select the network that you want to test it, like deploy it to, and then you hit deploy. And as you can see, MetaMask will show up here and you can just sign, out, sign your transaction with MetaMask. You just confirm that transaction. And then here, there's a small little bug that we need to fix is this loading that now shows in gray, but uh, <laughs> it will be a nicer like loading there. So it's actually waiting for the testnet to be able to verify your, your uh, transaction. Very cool. So uh, yeah, now that we see it, perfect. Oh, certified. Yeah. And then the MetaMask notification pops up. <laughs> so now we have you our smart contract testnet. <laughs> so as you can see, it was just changing a button. So um, yeah, very cool. That's awesome. Yeah, and that was really useful for hackathons especially. So people really appreciate it because in a hackathon, usually they don't let you pass like, you know, uh, your uh, uh, projects if you are not running in a testnet. So because in the local, obviously, you cannot work and show it to, to the public. So uh, uh, this is the quickest way that you can, you know, you're going to find to be able to move from your browser to testnet or main it including even. So so now that we actually have this in in in, uh, in uh, Rinkeby testnet, so... Now, actually, when you open this view, it's actually, you know, being interacting with that precise network. So actually, as you can see that we don't have any articles yet. And the reason for this is because before when I, had, I created a new article, I created it in my running blockchain. But now this is in testnet. So there is actually no articles right now. So what you can do is like, okay, so I'm going to interact with my deploy smart contract in the testnet. So here I can come to my, you know, uh, for example, you know, smart contract interaction screen. And then say here, okay, I'm gonna publish, you know, a, a, a new article. And as you can see here, it will pop up again, MetaMask. Because I mentioned, this is always testnet. So we, you always need to sign your transactions with your MetaMask account, which is a public network. So in this case, I can confirm with my MetaMask account. And then you can come to this screen and then you can just wait and um, actually that to, you know, until your transaction is being actually verified. And it usually it takes a few seconds. Oh, there we go. Pretty good. So now we have our DAP, you know, already, you know, with a small notification from, um, from uh, MetaMask. So, okay, now it's actually been deployed to, um, you know, interact with the testnet. So if we go to our interaction screen, as you can see, this DAP is precisely actually interacting with the testnet. I haven't had to touch a single line of code. I only just sweep, you know, change a, a, a little um, drop down, and then I actually have it running against my testnet. So the, the, my testnet, the RingKB testnet. So perfect. Now I want to take this DAP and I want to publish it somewhere. How the hell I do that? So one of the things that we're actually doing currently, and uh, for you to know as well, Gregory, is that there is a couple of things that we're working actively to be released, like in the next couple of weeks. Is first is to show all the magic that actually we are doing because at the moment you don't see any build here. So you don't have access to, you know, it's the uh, ABIs and you know, mm -hmm. the binaries. So one of the first things we realized is people obviously want to see those things. So uh, it will be a, actually a small build folder created here where you can actually be able to access your, you know, to be able to really see what actually the tool is generating through the SOLC compiler. And then uh, the other thing is uh, as well integration with GitHub. So you can actually sync your projects externally because at the moment everything is in your uh, 
a browser. So uh, everything's coming in the browser. So if you want to collaborate with someone or save it in a repository, it will be a GitHub integration. And the third one, and I think it's also really important, especially for education, is a uh, test support. So at the moment, as you can see, there is no way to test the contracts, but that's also coming in the next couple of weeks where uh, we pre-set up a mocha for you. So you don't have to do anything and you can actually write your mocha tests uh, with your smart contract because we truly believe that uh, especially smart contracts, they have to be well tested. Uh, <laughs> that, you know, there is no big screw ups. And uh, so um, that will be also supported in the, in the short term. There is a lot of other features, by the way. Everything is open source and um, everything is in GitHub. We are super transparent. Everything, all the features requests that we internally want and do, we have them in GitHub as issues. We can have a board, you have a board where you can actually check all the progress that we're doing, what are we working on, et cetera, et cetera. And if anyone is up to you know, collaborating, we always welcome and we have, we give swags to you know, people who collaborate and everything. So. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> we appreciate that. So as I say, like, okay, so now you have your, your DAP and how I publish this. So if you actually click this download app until we have that, you know, um, a more fancy way to do this. So this will tell you, okay, that you're about to download your application. It's pre-configured with LinkedIn LinkedIn network and your default uh, account in this case, uh, it was uh, in, uh, the MetaMask account. So if you hit download, this one download uh, just a pure HTML file. And if you open it, this actually in the browser, as you can see, this is actually running against LinkedIn. So I haven't had to do anything and I have already a, a running working, a working running application against LinkedIn. And the same thing with mainnet. By the way, this is something that another feature that is really funny that we actually need to fix is that make sure that uh, put some friction in mainnet because at the moment it's way too easy to actually. <laughs> so <laughs> we, we are putting a little bit of friction to make sure that when you deploy to mainnet, you're absolutely sure that you're actually, you know, want, that's what you want to do. <laughs> and, um, so, uh, so yeah, for example, uh, the cool thing is, as I say, like if you look in this, you know, browser window, I can see I have my DAP here. So now I can actually interact with my smart contract in the Rikabi. So I want to create a new article and I say like, you know, hello again, for example, and then I publish it, MetaMask comes up, I confirm the transaction. I just wait a few seconds for, for this to actually be confirmed. And, um, as soon as we actually do this, uh, we'll be able to see it in the other page. Oh, there we go, perfect. So now that it's been confirmed, so if I refresh this, you will see that here it is, you know, that new article. And awesome. I'm running out of battery. <laughs> <laughs> Still works. But, uh, so well, yeah. That's, that's good, I, I think that's pretty good timing though. I think that was a pretty thorough demo of the, uh, of the project here. Cool. Thank um, you. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Javier, I, I really enjoyed uh, this tour today. I think uh, this is a really cool project that you guys have got going on. Uh, everybody who's watching should definitely click the link down below to go check out Superblocks. Uh, I know I'm going to play around with this more after this video. Um, and yeah, so before we wrap up, Javier, um, is there anything else that you'd like for the people watching to know? Yeah, so please come to uh, superblogs.com and uh, if you want to give us some feedback, uh, go to uh, our Telegram channel. Uh, so we might uh, soon uh, change that method, but at the moment it's Telegram to be able to come and you can actually talk to the team. You can talk directly to us, ask any questions, and then you can always go to GitHub. Please, if you like the project, give us a start, which is a good way for us to you know, like have a recognition of our work. And everything is free and this tool is done to be free. It's not gonna be charged. And, um, and thank you much for watching. If you have any feedback whatsoever, if it's good or bad, the only thing I can ask if it, please, if it's bad, just don't say that it's shit, but at least, you know, give me a reason why. <laughs> <laughs> and then we can make sure that we can actually improve the tool because we really listen to the people in the community. So, and we That's want right. to be yeah, constructive criticism only. <laughs> That's right. This is, uh, you guys can, I can tell put a lot of work into this. Um, it looks really nice and polished and, and clean, and you did a great job of demoing the tool. Um, so, yeah, everybody, uh, go check out Superblocks. Check out this editor. Uh, start using it. It looks like it's nice and easy to get you started fast without having to configure everything yourself. I like it. And it's got that VS Code look, which everybody kind of seems to reach for these days. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, very cool. Well, awesome, Javier. Um, excited to have you on the channel today. Um, everybody go check this out. But until next time, thanks for watching DAP University. Bye-bye.